Yo, what is up? My name is Brayden Willy. Uh, welcome back to Brayden Willy Vlogs. I am making another video. There's not much that makes me this happy, but making videos is, is up there. Uh, this video is about a Kentucky tour that my brothers and I went on together. It was for myself and Tommy's 21st birthday. So Kentucky is basically a company that provides toured tourism. They guide you through the cities. They uh, create itineraries for you. It's called European Discovery, which means we spent 12 days in 10 different cities around Europe. Tiki Tour started in London, and its first city that it stopped at was Amsterdam. And because of visa situations, and yeah, cheers to being a South African. Shout out to those good times. We decided not to go to England at all and just meet the tour in Amsterdam. And yeah, without further ado, here's the Kentucky Tour. A little bit different to Malawi, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Tommy and my birthday trip, and we're getting uh, guided by Jerry. <laughs> Ooh, photo <laughs> ball. Look at this Christmas tree, that's insane! Jeez. Sell it to the vlog! Gang gang. Gang gang. <laughs> this is my number one fan. Okay, we out here looking for coffee shops. I think it says something that tobacco is the most illegal thing in this country. <laughs> Leaving Amsterdam, we were ready for Germany. Now, Germany has a lot of beautiful places, a lot of beautiful things to see. There are some great beer, but everyone knows that Germany is efficient as hell. So efficient to the point that their toilets clean themselves. Being in Germany, I guess it makes sense that, uh, to visit a concentration camp. I'm really glad that it was part of the tour. It was different actually being there. You could have some sort of connection with the real experience. After Germany, we had successfully had the first hangover of the entire trip and we were on our way to Innsbruck, Austria, which was definitely the most beautiful place we visited. Okay, when does it start telling you stuff? It's telling it down. It's telling it down. This big ass thing. 
<laughs> it says the mountains on that forehead. Some white ass mountains. <laughs> Dude, why is there a photo of an ear? Is that for ambiance? <laughs> Also, I also love how pretty all the houses are. Okay, three, two, one. That was fun, thanks guys. Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy the sliding? Yeah, no. Tilo. <laughs> Tilo. That's, that code says kicking on it. This is gonna be a great night. <laughs> From India. <laughs> I'm not from India. <laughs> Australia. Straight, straight out of Australia. Squad. Oh, What's up, no. Kontiki squad? Where's Jess when you need her? Yeah, hey. We need some controlling right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 We've spent a lot of hours traveling. <laughs> now more traveling. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Yo, smoke! <laughs> Damn it. Damn pigeon. Oversized pigeon. Bitch. Look at these things! Hey! 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 The building behind is pretty cool, though. <laughs> what? Ah, it's game over. Nah, hand is game over. There's members on the tour that just got married. We're in Venice, one of the most romantic cities in the world. Thought it was a great idea. Diamond, a diamond ring. Yes. You see the diamond ring. Oh, massive rock. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the montage of the dogs. There's so many beautiful dogs here, it's crazy. <laughs> This is the best part of the whole place. The whole place. I'm closer, come closer, come closer. This beautiful wooden <laughs> Dean Venice was uh, a necessary experience, I guess. It kind of feels like they're sucking the tourism out of these places. I mean the fact that there's seagulls and pigeons everywhere just picking off scraps and everything on the island is more of a store that's like pushing out to make the most profit it can. It didn't really feel like a historic place, but Venice was beautiful nonetheless. 
We decided not to party in Venice. We preparing for Rome, and uh, Rome was a six hour drive the next day. When we were going to Rome, we were actually looking forward to go, to go watch a football match between Lazio and Roma. Uh, despite getting to the stadium and trying our best to get tickets, we just looked at it from afar. The night we were going to the drunken ship where they had beer pong. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> The atmosphere here yeah, is really shaking. You can feel it in the lungs. People are putting up bombs. It's crazy. It's never. Yeah, this is fucking insane. But yeah, it doesn't look like getting in it. Yo, it didn't happen. We've been walking around the stadium for an hour. Look sexy lads. Hey, hey, hey. We finally made it lads. Just like that the fucking bar is empty. We were walking around the stadium and there were thousands of bikes, so I'm trying to get shots of them leaving. Check, check. Carilla de Vol. Magnifico! Gracias! Hello! You're beautiful! Hey! <laughs> cheers! Cheers! Is this, is this pizza? Is it? I don't know! It's, it's why it was 8 euros. This is uh, it's called the Coliseo. You're in this I am, I am! Oh, it's Coliseo! We got one more! We won four straight rounds of beer pong. We are the champions. Then, then some then sober people questioned us. Some sober people like, came oh, and beat why us. Why did you lose? That's not fair. What? That's not fair. We roamed the hell out of Rome. Having spent a full day in Rome with another day in Rome to go, uh, maybe it was a good idea to go check out the Colosseum. <laughs> Rome, we were staying in Italy and on our way to Florence. Florence had some of the best uh, gelatin, I think it's called. We call it, what do we call it? Ice cream, uh, frozen yogurt, one of the two. It was really good. <laughs> Florence was particularly interesting because uh, the suggestion for the partying tonight was uh, karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks, man. Mrs. Ma'am. <laughs> the hazelnut actually has nuts in it. <laughs> it's quite interesting. What do you think that means behind you? Some of this artwork. Obviously, Granny is a superhero. We were talking about a lot of artwork, but this is the best artwork I see. It's right back there. No, no, no. It says, let me smash at the back right there. So. Oh, let me smash! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
After Florence, we were finally ready to leave Italy. Well, I don't think I'll ever be ready to leave Italy. Italy is amazing. We were on our way to Switzerland. They were upper class for sure. You could feel it. I mean, at least we got to enjoy some chocolate while we were there. Before we actually got to Switzerland, uh, the bus driver and the tour guide decided to stop and let us play in the snow for about 20 minutes, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay, let's relax now if I can. <laughs> okay, what? Soccer balls. The soccer balls. I'm okay. about to kick this. Okay, watch. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are so cute, huh? <laughs> Thomas like trying to <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We are just Bashman. You should tell me off his feet. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Okay, cheers to the most expensive beer we've drank all fucking day. What the hell? Yo, peeps. Switzerland was very expensive. This is how we do it. We arrive in a country, we look at all the beautiful places, we go to a club and we look at all the beautiful women, we get drunk and then we head home. See you guys tomorrow. I'm very happy to leave Switzerland. We are now on our way to, uh, to Paris, most baddest place there was. The, the main event for us in Paris was obviously to see the Eiffel Tower, but another thing was to attend Moulin Rouge. Kind of gotten the vibe that it was a good idea to go watch this show. And after seeing it, I mean, I had to solidly grab my jaw from the floor and put it back on my face. And for those of you who don't know, <laughs> there's, there's boobs in the show, but it wasn't the boobs that I was... <laughs> so besotted by it, I mean lady w went topless into a tank of anacondas about eight to ten anacondas all real life swimming around just chilling and she was majestically doing twirls through that I mean w how can it get better in entertainment <laughs> yeah I, I recommend R Moulin Rouge for anyone ever <laughs> we went to a bar that was next to the show that the tour guide suggested that was one of the best venues we went to all trip it was a great time I think we got closer to this stadium than we got to that Rome stadium. <laughs> hey, so we just arrived in Paris. Put a shirt on, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Right, um, first impressions of Paris. It just sounds expensive. <laughs> uh, a lot of French people, as you would expect. All right, let me show you the nightclub. Tomorrow big. Tomorrow's gonna be big. Tomorrow's gonna be big. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Hey! Hey! Binda binda no surrender. Binda cinderinda. Cinderinda binda binda. Hey! 
Hello. Hello. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Merci. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Oh, I'm just lying. It's cold, so Merrick gave me a scarf. But we got style and a moustache. <laughs> yeah, Quintiki. Yeah. Woo. So Adidas store has a basketball court. Yeah, Moulin Rouge, let's go. Screw, screw. Daniel, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> We made it. Harry, check the view out. Man. Our, our trusty tour guide Karen has brought us here. Shut up, Karen. Like the widest girl twirl you can do. Cool. Go, I, I'm recording. Go for it. <laughs> Boys look defeated. joining the travel vlog for Kentucky 2020 I guess you could say I really enjoyed making this video uh, just a uh, just a short few tricks and tips for Kentucky tours for anyone who wants to go on one who's thinking about it the short trips the long trips what I would suggest how to pack all that sort of stuff will be coming up next